Okay, so if you're wondering, I just got finished watching the newest episode of Korra, which is, what is this, episode 4? I don't remember the exact one. It's Civil Wars Part 2. Dude, I am in love with it. Okay, so in a review that I have not yet posted, because of most of my Avatar videos for this week have not been posted yet, I'm sorry, but I talked about how the first couple of episodes of the season, and some of the episodes of the last season were kind of hit or miss for me. Um, this one was definitely a hit. <laughs> um, the first two, three episodes, especially the first two episodes of Legend of Korra Season 2, I was, uh, I wasn't really feeling them as much as I was feeling um, the first two episodes of the last season. But, dude, this one really, this one really had me. Um, really, um, this one had me, I think, because the humor is finally starting to hit, hit it off for me. Um, I don't know, last season and a lot of the first few episodes of this season felt like they were trying to force the humor. Um, but now it just feels a lot more natural. And I'm loving the character of Varric. Oh my gosh, he's the funniest thing ever. I mean, hiding in a freaking platypus bear, that's, it's genius. Oh my gosh. Um, but aside from all that, I, I am absolutely loving this second season. Uh, it's just, it's just great. Um, I still have beef with Makora, but yeah, that's a completely different, uh, scenario altogether. Anyway, I'm absolutely loving it. Um, I mean, it, it's not like... Uh, the fact that Korra's uncle, I mean, like I said, these these videos are going to be full of spoilers. It's not like I, it's not like the fact that Korra's uncle was evil was some sort of big surprise, some sort of big reveal. I mean, I was, I was sitting there watching it and Korra was just like, oh, I can't believe that I trusted him. And I'm like sitting there, I'm like, no, I, I can't believe it either. I mean, he's like sitting there screaming, I'm evil at you. And I mean, like for real. The fact that he got his brother banished, that wasn't a surprise. None of the stuff that the uncle did was a surprise, um, at all. So, I don't, I'm not sure if that's what they were going for, but if they were going for it, they failed. So, <laughs> um, but other than that, I, I thought the episode was great. It had really good action. There was one part where the, um, animation of the waterbending was a little weird, but other than that, the animation was beautiful. Um, the side, I guess you could call it the B story, with uh, Tenzin and Iki, that was kind of cute. Um, oh my gosh, I loved seeing the little the little baby sky bison. They were so cute. Oh my gosh, but this this episode was this episode was great to me. Um, especially my favorite character has been Eska. Um, she has been my favorite character since she appeared, basically. And her this takes this takes the controlling girlfriend to the extreme. She's psychotic and it's hilarious um, the way she the way she comes back, the way she comes back at the end of the episode with like a giant wave tsunami thing behind her and her eyeshadow is like all dripping down her face and she's got this psychotic look on her face brilliant it was genius it was gorgeous i loved it um i wouldn't say gorgeous but it was i loved it it was great eska has been great this season um which has made bolin a lot funnier um Especially this episode, <laughs> some of the some of the back and forth has been really hilarious. Especially in this episode, so I really enjoyed it. Um, this episode really hit it off for me. Um, and when she mentioned the whole uh, "you need me to open the spirit portal in the North Pole" thing or whatever, and he's like, "No, you've done all I need you to do" or whatever, um, I thought that was kind of ominous. So, but everything he says is ominous. But uh, I thought that was really interesting to kind of point towards the rest of the season, you know. But, um, that's, I, I, I'm really anxious to see what's going on with the spirits. I mean, obviously, I'm assuming that they go to the spirit world. Um, they did it in, um, I mean, I know I shouldn't really base it off of the, uh, trailers, but I know in the trailers, she goes back to Tens and she's like, I need you, or whatever, and all that other stuff. And I know that Jinora apparently goes to the spirit world, if I remember correctly, in the trailer. Um, I'm really, I'm really ready to see the spirit world, um, and some more of that, because Korra is, Korra's done a lot of cake butt stuff, but I'm really ready to, one reason why I'm really ready to see the spirit world is because I'm ready to see how she'd react when she's in an environment where she's unable to bend, um, because as you know, in the spirit world, you're not able to bend the elements, and you're basically just, you know, a non-bender, I guess, but in the spirit world, there's, there's no bending, and I'm really... Wanting to see how she is when she's literally, huh, pardon the pun, out of her element. And um, she's got to, 
you know, commune and converse with the spirits because I think that, I don't know, maybe <laughs> Unalak, is that how you pronounce his name? I don't remember. Unalak has like some sort of death pact with the devil or with the spirits or something like that where, um, you know, he's able, I think he's able to control the spirits somehow other than, you know, his weird swimmy thingy. I really want to know what that is too. Um, of course, in a, in a uh, commercial, you're, you see Korra doing it at one point. Um, I'm really referring to the trailers a lot, which is not good. I want to just kind of see it as it comes, but uh, it's really, it's really, really fun. So, um, seeing the spirits is, uh, something I, I really want, I really want Ko to come back, the face stealer, because he said he's going to run into, when he was talking to Aang, he said he was going to run into him again, um, which, of course, doesn't necessarily mean in Aang's lifetime. Um, I don't know if he's going to show up in the comic books, the ones that take place in between the shows or not but if he doesn't then that'd be really cool to see Korra run into him um I mean it'd be it'd be really neat anyways um and hey bye some of the other spirits I really want her to talk with some of the past avatars especially Kiyoshi I want to see what kind of advice the um older avatars could give to her um of course I'm really wanting to see some flashbacks of Aang and the, and the gang all grown up so um that's something I really want to see too but, um, other than flashbacks, because we've got two more seasons, two more books to see the flashbacks. But, um, yeah, I was, I was a little worried about the season. I was, a, it got off a little rocky for me anyways. Um, but now I'm like, okay, okay, I can get on board with this. This is starting to have that, that old Avatar charm back to it. So, um, yeah. If you haven't watched it yet, um, I don't know why you watched it. I don't know why you watched this video, it, it had spoilers in it. I didn't give away too many plot spoilers, I just kind of went over the things that I liked. Um, oh, and I really love Kaya and Bumi. The uh, the um, little the little family moments I, I thought were kind of cute. Um, I know some people are probably like, uh, can we get on with the action or whatever, but I, I love action. I'm an actionaholic. But the little family moments, those little, those little family moments I like. Um, I don't like little relationship moments. They're kind of sappy and they get on my nerves, but I love family moments. They're, they're nice. Um, so yeah, I enjoyed that. And I'm really interested to see, this is another reason why I'm interested to see Aang when he was younger, is because of the fact that it's addressed that Aang was not a very perfect parent and that he had quite a few faults and he played favorites. So, um... I'm really ready to see some of this. Uh, it's a very interesting aspect to Aang that we haven't seen as of yet. So, um, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, can't think of anything else as of right now, but I really like this episode. Um, if you want, you can comment below. Let me know what you liked about this episode. And I hope you have not watched the episode. I mean, I hope, what? I hope you've watched the episode um, before you watch this, because otherwise I spoiled a lot of stuff for you. And I'm really sorry. But, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching. Peace, love, cactus juice. Later. Drink cactus juice. It'll quench ya. Nothing's quench ya. It's the quenchiest.